Still working with the micro bit and the bit booster. Now I'm doing motors. So you see I got two motors hooked up here. Another nice little card talks about motors A and B, left and right. Um, two different places you can hook them up. You can actually hook them to the um, pin holes there, or you can plug them into pins. I have decided to plug them both into pins. Just because. Now you really do need to buy a bunch of jumper wires and jumper wires with different ends. These are female to alligator clip. You also need uh, female to female, female to male, male to male. You just need a whole bunch of those. Now, wires, uh, there are two wires for a motor, positive and a negative. Now this says that direction is controlled by pin one and pin eight, a one and a zero for the backwards kind of thing. And that the power is by pin 15 and 16, goes zero to two, 10, 23. Again, powers of two. I wish pin, I, in what, some ways I wish that the, the pain, that, that those were labeled better as pin one and pin eight or pin one and pin 15. They are not. Um, I can, yeah, there's nowhere on it that says that. The most it says is V jump and one and two. And I actually think those are backwards on one of them. Because um, I wired them exactly the same that the V goes to the black wire on the motor and my motors run two directions. Now here's why it doesn't matter if those, those are labeled one and 15. If the direction is wrong, all you do is flip the wire because it's a positive and a negative. So it doesn't matter which one you plug in where, if it's going the other direction, just flip the wire. Um, the other thing is all you have to do is change the code to a zero or a one if it's going the wrong direction. I'd kind of rather know ahead of time which direction I'm sending my thing, but that's just me. Um, the other thing is direction is also depending upon which way you hook this on your vehicle kind of thing. Uh, like when you usually when you hook up a motor to a right wheel and a left wheel, the motors are opposite to each other. So that is, um, oh, you notice there are three pins there. You don't use the middle pin. You plug it. You plug it into, and I'll call it one pin one, two, and three. You plug it in pin one and two. Nothing happens. Plug it in pin two and three. Nothing happens. It's got to be in pin one and three. Why there's an extra pin there? I don't know. I'll ask them. I did a really elaborate code, which is not really worth going over, but basically the, the motor is uh, pin one in, in direction one. I don't know if that's forward or backwards. Um, right, uh, have it go half speed-ish, 600, and have the other motor stop. And I put some lights on here for which motor is running. Um, I split the lights up in the motor left and motor right is what I call them. And if I press button B, uh, do something different. Like turn one motor off and turn the other motor on and flip the lights around. And obviously there's this whole, you know, on start do this, you know, set up, set up some NeoPixels, um, split my NeoPixels up into two halves and set my p motors to stop at the beginning. So here we go. I'm going to turn it on. And boom, yellow for caution. Things are hot. Things are alive. If I press button A. We got a motor going. I'll call that forward. It's rotating towards the back. And now I'll press button B. And it is also going forward to the back. It's going faster. And it's hard for you to tell, but the lights have changed. A bunch of lights. See? Okay. Hey, now it's going backwards. Okay. Forward, backward, forward, backward. Hmm, I wonder why I was going forward. That's strange. Coding issue. So, there's some motors. Talk to you later.